everybody and a uh, happy Sunday. I'm back. Uh, I shall be making regular videos again uh, ever since the disappointing death of my old MacBook. I have finally gone out and got a brand new one so I could be making videos again on a regular basis. This week I want to try something a little bit different. Um, I was talking with my counsellor um, and uh, one of my one of my biggest problems if you will is the fact that I don't talk to people um, if I have a problem I tend to keep it to myself and I try to deal with things on my own or I have a habit of pretending they're not happening and I, I go on regardless. Um, it's something I've always done and, um, and I never realised, never realised I did it until recently when it was pointed out to me that I have a tendency to, tendency to view situations involving me in uh, I try to communicate them to people as they as as being not quite as bad as what they actually are so the idea is that with these videos I want to be able to um, start talking more about personal problems of mine um, I would find it a little bit easier I think because because although I'm doing these videos on YouTube and uh, technically I'm you know let, let, telling everything about myself to anyone who wants to listen uh, it's, it's a slightly different thing because uh, the people watching it aren't sitting in front of me, they're not coming back to me and they're not, I don't quite feel like I'm talking to a particular person as opposed to just the camera. So, um, I, I can, I, I see where my counsellor's coming from. He's, um, if I start opening and I start being honest with myself about things then uh, with uh, with all of that out on a plate then maybe I can start to deal with things a little bit better. In the past when I have shared stuff um, I've had quite a lot of positive comments coming back to me and those sort of things really help me um, or even the nasty ones the nasty comments don't really bother me because because I don't know you I don't know you and it it doesn't affect me uh, it doesn't affect me if you say something negatively if you say something positive about me then that's really good then you know I I feel feel like I've done something of some kind of work so I will encourage everyone watching this to leave comments, good or bad really. I'm going to see what goes next. I do have some things which I really would like to talk about uh, that are really quite personal and they're quite a really important part of me that I, I really feel that if I, if I, when I start to talk, talk to people about them, then hopefully things will iron out a little bit better for me. But I do not think I'm quite there yet. I, I need to start very, well, I'm something not as personal as something else, but we shall see how these go and hopefully I will get enough encouragement together to get to do a more personal video. So this week then, well, 
as some of you know, a few weeks ago I was in the hospital. Um, I had a bad heart, I and mean, my heart was. There's enough videos around there about what's going on with my heart and stuff, so didn't go out. But while I was in the hospital, I had to go and have some kind of body scan, MRI scan, maybe. I know. Um, but yeah, I had to go and have a scan and I uh, had to go and have an x ray and they x ray my chest and all that. And um, so I'm in, I'm in the hospital bed and they're prepping me to um, go off and have the x ray. And the nurse is fiddling around my neck here and she's like going, damn it. So I say, I'll. You know, what, what are you trying to do? She's trying to get this, uh, my sort of necklace off me. This chain that I wear. Uh, and she was trying to get off me, saying, uh, um, I can't wear it into the X-ray room. And, uh, and I'm like, sort of smiling at her, going, you know, it is not coming off. It's permanently fixed around my neck. And, um, and in the end, they had to get some surgical tape and basically tape it to my neck so things wouldn't go through. Um, and I was laughing about it a little bit. Uh, but then anyway, when um, after I'd done the uh, scan and the x-rays, uh, she came back through and she sat on the bed and she said, what was the... Uh, so what was the story of the chain around your neck? Why couldn't we take it off? And um, and, uh, and I sat up in bed and I was really pleased and I, I said, oh, I'll tell you. And I just tell the story of how I got this chain. It was about 17 years ago when I was 14 years old. Um, I was typical 14 year old kid back then um, you know I, I you know went to school had my mates and stuff I fucked around with people I uh, used to sneak off and smoke cigarettes and drink beer and just generally doing really doing things that every 14 year old kid does um, and then I met this girl or, you know, didn't meet to research. She was in my year at school. Uh, there was this girl called Katie. And I don't exactly remember how we got together or anything like that. But she and I became boyfriend and girlfriend. I really um, uh, I don't think we're in the same class of each other uh, I can't really remember but I do think we think we shared science together but again I'm not really sure I can't remember that far back um, but I do remember that I was a bit of an idiot when, it, when I was at school um, if uh, she you know if, if if she was in the same science class as me which i think she was i think she was sat by the front on the front table with a few other people and i was sat at the back and uh in the pub next door to where i used to live when i went to school in the morning i used to steal because uh, they had deliveries in the morning. I used to steal little sachets of coffee and a couple of pots of those low-life milk. And in the science class, when the teacher's talking about, I don't know, photosynthesis and stuff, <laughs> I'd be at the very back of the class with a Bunsen burner and a beaker full of water and I'd be making myself a coffee and not paying attention. 
you know, um, so, you know, me and KP were, we were at the opposite ends of, um, uh, the, um, school education table, thing, whatever, I think, I could be completely wrong, but 17 years ago, that's a long time, a lot of things happened, but, anyway, I'm going off topic, we got together, me and Kitty, and uh, I don't remember exactly how long we were together for, probably not that long really, 14 year old kids, for God's sake, um, anyway, it was, um, it was something, uh, anniversary maybe, or Valentine's Day, or something like that. I can't remember the exact ins and outs, but I do remember where I was when she gave this to me. She, um, came into uh, the town I was living to meet me. There was, she came in with a couple of friends. And I was in town with my mates. Um, we went and had breakfast. And then we were just waiting for, waiting for those to turn up. And uh, the bus stop that they got off at was outside the police station. Um, we went out there to meet. And uh, that's where she gave me this necklace. And it was really cool. And, um, and, um, you know, blah, 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 and all that. And went off and did whatever. And about two days later, it broke. The electron, it broke. Or I broke it. Before I did, I can't remember again. So, in order not to upset Katie about not wearing it, I got my friend to uh, basically solder it onto my neck. Basically, put my head down and got in with a hot soldering iron to melt the bits of metal together and we got it stuck together. And therefore it's been around my neck ever since. Now I've been wearing this all this time and um, you know and obviously you know me and Katie aren't, aren't together are you know. Um, I don't think we were together for that long in the first place, really. Um, but you know, I still talk to her every now and then, you know, through Facebook and stuff. But still a sort to her. And uh, I see her sisters. So, you no, know, her older sister. I see her older sister quite a lot. So, But I wear this necklace. And, uh, you know, it's sort of raised a few proper, a few questions with other girlfriends since then because uh, people just see it as um, me wearing a necklace that an ex-girlfriend gave me um, but I don't it's it's so much more than that to me this necklace that I wear when I think about it it takes me back it takes me right back to being 14 years of age when I was 14 um, I wasn't in a wheelchair. I didn't have horrible depression. I didn't have insomnia. I didn't have any of the problems I have anymore. Um, I was just your normal 14 year old kid. I had my mates that I went to see all the time. Uh, I was always out and about. You know, I'd always, like, go and see bands play or whatever. Um, I even had a girlfriend, you know. Um, you know, it was... It was for, for, for a brief time, I was a normal teenager. It didn't last long for me because at the age of 14 again, it was when... That's when I got the diagnosis of my condition, and um, and and that pretty much changed everything for me. Um, I could 
pretty much pinpoint all my problems down to that one life changing moment really um you know because once I once I had the diagnosis of that my my whole life changed and it's still changing now but But I don't, I don't, I don't have many, don't have many memories of times before that were, you know, I don't have that many memories of the good times before. But I remember this Texas and that's what, that's what it means to me. It, it has nothing to do with whoever gave it to me or why they gave it to me or anything like that it means that for a brief moment I was just the same as everyone else I was just your average 14 year old kid and and I and I'm and I miss those days, I really do. But yeah. And, um. <laughs> oh, after that, you know, look. Anyway, so anyway, that, that's the story of this necklace. Um. You know, I hope I you know, I hope people are gonna understand that um what I'm trying to do here, what 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 I'm trying to achieve by talking about this talking about things like this because it does help me. Anyway. Uh I really should say do all that usual YouTube stuff afterwards, you know. Rate it, like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment, come and find me on Twitter, come and find me on Facebook, I will put all the links to that in the description below. And Thank you for watching this, you know, uh, 